three-time world champion and undefeated fighter si Timothy Bradley na kahaharapin ni Manny Pacquiao sa June 9th sa MGM in Las Vegas. And today, we are doing interviews sa media day ni Timothy Bradley. Na-feel ko po ang mga muscles ni Bradley at talaga namang matigas, pati ang abs, sobrang tigas po. And he's saying that it's all also about the diet. And he shares that with us today on the show. Pero bagong lahat, since it's a Wednesday, immigration update muna tayo. This American Dream segment is brought to you by Aquino and Lowe Law Firm, answering your immigration questions. Attorney Allison Aquino, welcome once again to Kababayan, L.A. Always a pleasure, Janelle. And very interesting topic, employment visa, because is it still on? Absolutely. You know, the past couple of years, past few years, have been really hard on businesses, and um, as a result, many people have not been pursuing employment-based visas. But the indication is that the economy is improving, and it's um, shown through the H-1B visas and the labor certifications. Going back to that, I, I just have a question, and I'm sure people have encountered this as well. I'm not sure if your office have, but um, say, for example, you were employed, and then um, the employer petitioned you for an H-1B, mm -hmm. and then after a year or two before you know it gets completed, um, y the employer decides to lay you off because hard times, you know, what happens in that case? In that situation, actually, and, and unfortunately it has been quite common over the past few years, um, the employer has an obligation to fulfill a few things when a person has been laid off before the H-1B um, time period. So the employer, first of all, has an, has an obligation to pay the individual the cost of a plane ticket back, back to, to their the Philippines. back to the Philippines. Okay. Um, as well, if the employer doesn't take certain steps uh, that are required in the, under the law, the employer actually has a continuing obligation to pay the individual salary. And a lot of people don't realize that, that they do have the right to demand full payment for that entire length of time that the H-1B is valid. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. So the H-1B is usually valid for three years. If uh, during your second year you get laid off, the employer may be entitled to pay you for another year, even if you're not working anymore. Correct. Oh. If they haven't done the proper notice with Immigration and Department of Labor, an individual can go back, file a claim with Department of Labor, and get for example, in, in your situation, an entire year's pay. Wow. Okay. So that's good. You always learn something about immigration when we talk to attorneys uh, Alison Aquino and Richard Lowe. And going back now to employment uh, visa, there are petitions out there. Yes. And, and mm -hmm. with the H-1B, the, the sign that the economy is improving is that H-1Bs are soon to run out. Mm. Immigration did report on May 18th that they have already received 42,000 visas um, uh, that apply toward the 65,000 cap. And so the uh, approximation is that sometime in June, maybe by mid-June, the H-1B filing period will run out. And so you need to hurry. If you are in this situation, better file it now. And what about the wait, Allison? The, the wait, wait for, the, for visa? the visa? Yes. Well, right now, the visa can only be effective no earlier than October 1. Okay. And so it gener generally takes about two to three months to receive a decision. But even when you get the decision, you can't start until October 1. And uh, for the benefit of our viewers who want to stay here, who want to get employment-based uh, employment sponsorship, what are the industries that are in demand? Well, definitely the engineering industry, the computer science industry, those are very much in demand. Computers? And computers, absolutely. Again? Absolutely. Right. The um, IT field has been experiencing a boom, and so a lot of individuals, they should be submitting their resumes to tech companies because they are hiring. Okay. What about nursing? Last time you were here, we were talking about nursing. Do you have any updates on that? Well, with respect to nursing, they unfortunately generally do not qualify for H-1B visas, but they, and so they go through the path of permanent residency. And individuals can still be sponsored. It's just more difficult to um, find a sponsor because the waiting period for the green card is about six years. Oh, okay. All right. So now summing it all up before we end this segment, what, what is your best advice to viewers right now? First of all, looking for uh, looking to uh, expedite maybe or process or file their employment-based petitions. Well, definitely for individuals who don't have other means of obtaining a green card, such as a family member who can petition them, they they need to proceed with the employment-based labor certification application. And that's the first application that's filed with the Department of Labor for a person to even request being put on immigration's employment-based waiting list. 
Right now they are getting harder. The process is getting longer. They're now auditing more applications, proce proceeding with um, requiring applications to go through a supervised recruitment process. Um, but individuals need to do this because the waiting period is getting shorter, so mm -hmm. that's the advantage. Right. You know, a lot of the family-based petitions have 10, 15, 20-year waits. The employment-based visas at least is down to six years. And you need a lawyer to make the case for you. That's the number to call on the screen if you want to make uh, a schedule. Schedule your appointment now, one-on-one -on -one consultation with attorneys Allison Aquino and her partner, attorney Richard Lowe. Also check them out online. Thank you so much and more power. Thank you, Jeanette.